So a follower of mine sent me this tweet thread from Pop Base talking about Black China, Tiga or Tyga, and Kylie Jenner. Also know my vocabulary, I use the word Frito in place of P-E-D-O for community guideline standards. So let's talk about this post. Black China recalls Tyga's alleged affair with underage Kylie Jenner. I don't know how we're calling this an affair if the person is a minor, but that's the language that they're using. So we're going to go ahead and go with it. And um, I don't know why it's alleged if they were a couple and she was underage. So I don't know why this is alleged. Anyways, so this is her quote. I feel like it ran its course. And then he started talking to Kylie at the time, which she was like 16 or something. It was really crazy because she was underage and then everybody came at me and started attacking me. Now, regardless of how you feel about Black China, the situation that she is speaking on has nothing to do with her. I know sometimes people like to miss the whole point just to um, slam on the Black woman in the situation. I get that. She is recalling the situation. This situation is about this man being a Frito, having Frito tendencies, and this underage girl whose family allowed it to happen. Stay focused. Let's get into the article. All right, so here's the article. Black China recalls X betrayal with underage Kylie Jenner. Okay, so Black China and Tyga dated from 2011 to 2014, and then they split up and it was messy. She says, yeah, I was engaged and stuff. So that's kind of what ended it, talking about him messing around with a 16-year-old. The mom of two, 35, explains she found out about Tyga's rumored relationship with, the, with Kylie, now 26, the same way everybody else did, on the internet. Listen to this, y'all. It was actually when Tyga's friend threw me out the house. Yeah, they packed up my stuff and put it in my, well, his truck at the time packed it up and packed up the G-Wagon that he had given me at the moment. I underline these two things because when you are in a girlfriend-boyfriend relationship and you decide to move into his stuff and he gifts you things, in the moment, it might seem cool. It might be like, oh, wow, he has given me this stuff. But if everything is in his name, it is his stuff. And when things go bad, he can snatch that stuff right away. And you have no recourse because, remember, marriage is just a piece of paper. So this woman is being put out of this man's house because he is a Frito that likes to do Frito things and chase after 16-year-olds. And his friends can put her out of his home because she has no claim to it even though there's tenants' rights and all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, obviously she has some legal recourse if she decided to take that. All right. Black China, who shares an 11-year-old son named King Cairo with Tyga, further, um, further that the situation became more complex due to her friendship with Kim Kardashian at the time. Me and Kim were really good friends. I was on her show and all this stuff like that. We live in the same community. This is what gave Tyga access to a 16-year-old. Okay, now, so that was the basic gist of the article. Now let's get into some of these Twitter comments because the Twitter comments is where you start to see how people feel about Fritos, how they feel about Black women, all that good stuff. So Danica here says, this is so crazy. Why did everyone think it was okay to attack her when Tyga was the one dating a minor? Now I take umbrage with the word dating because how are you a grown man dating a minor. That is, yes, Frito-like tendencies. Daniela at the bottom says, it's actually crazy that people act like it didn't happen. Okay, so then Dark Wisdom says, because she's China, and at the time, people sided with the Kardashians on everything. And then someone reminds us all that he is a rapper and famous. Kylie is rich and white presenting. China, a Black woman. Y'all know how misogynoir is. It sells. It is perfectly acceptable to um, pile on to a Black woman. That is what moves things. That is what gets people clicks. That is what makes lots of people money. Misogynoir makes lots of people money. 
And then we got people pity pattying as far as language goes. Tyga is definitely suspicious for talking to a minor. This is very euphemistic, I should say. He's more than suspicious. He's more than suspicious. So this person says suspicious or flat out guilty. And then this person says suspicious or a fritophile. Feisty everything bagel says. He also tried to take credit for her change in looks, her, cosme- her cosmetic line, etc. And while that family is notorious for appropriating, dating a minor and trying to take credit for her career is also ick. Um, this person says, not suspicious, not a person of interest. He's arrest warrant level. Exactly. Let's stop sanitizing language. Bonga towards the bottom says, I'm sure that he did more than just talking. So Kelly says she needs to stop talking about that man. This is what I have an issue with. It's like we're talking about something that is egregious and terrible, and then people want to hone in on the Black woman still. So this person says she just exposed the man for dating a minor, and that's your response. I wonder what that says about you. For whatever reason, these pick still want to body block for these Fritos. That is their job, to body block and make sure that Fritos have no accountability for their action. Whitney at the bottom says, absolutely not. If anything, she needs to keep talking about his behavior. Kyrie at the bottom says, yeah, because that's the problem. Yeah, her talking about it is the problem, not the fact that he's a Frito and having Frito behaviors and displaying Frito tendencies. The fact that Black China gave an interview. Then Thomas wants to know, is Black China speaking out of jealousy? Like I said, this is what they do. They want to muddy the water and talk about Black China versus his behavior. And I do expect this from an XY because XYs do have a bro code typically. Now, there have been some um, men in this comment section that have had some sense. Thomas is not one of them. So Mother Lilith responded, no, I really don't think so. The the Kardashian-Jenner family are multimedia masterminds. They know how to sway the public. Tyga was caught on audio. He was caught on audio acknowledging she was not legal. So he put himself out there. He knows how to act. I mean, he knows that he can get away with acting like this in public simply because he's a rapper and and famous. He literally was a Frito and acknowledged it. But like Thomas, he, he wants to hone in on Black China. Even being endorsed by another sister's boyfriend stating that when they are younger, they are easier to mold. This is who some of these people body block for. A person who believes that a 16-year-old is easier to mold. And that's not, I mean, this is typical of how they act. This is typical. This is the reason why they keep using submission and malleable. This is why. But we have got to keep talking about this. And I will keep talking about this because it's egregious. It's unacceptable. And we need to highlight this. And we have got to stop allowing people to pile on to Black women simply because they want to body block for these XYs. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what you think. Like, comment, share.